Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Ubuntu Help Guy. In this video, I want to show you how you avoid that your iDevice or Android device disconnects from your local Wi-Fi. First, a little background story. I own an Android device and an iDevice and my iDevice would constantly disconnect from my local Wi-Fi, but my Android device would not. I knew that it didn't have anything to do with my iDevice itself, because my iDevice would work perfectly fine in other locations with Wi-Fi. When friends would come over, they would ask why they were kicked off the network on their iDevice. At that moment, I knew that my router was racist against iDevices and I had to do something about it. If this is somewhat the same experience for you, then you've come to the right Place. So we need to log into our Wi-Fi router now that we've concluded that the router is the bastard doing all this. Almost all routers can be accessed through a browser where you can see and adjust settings. Open the web interface by entering the router's IP address into a browser. Check your router's documentation for a specific address or you could do a quick Google search of the brand of your router, something like Netgear router IP address. It typically starts with 192.168. Now that you're here, you need to log in. If you never logged in before, the username and password is set to default. You can find the default username and password in the router documentation or you could do another Google search of something like Netgear router username and password. If you have a Netgear router, that is. A lot of websites show the default username and password for the different routers, so it really shouldn't be that difficult to find. Once you're logged in, you need to find the tab or section where it says WMM Wi-Fi. Keep in mind that this might not look the same as on your end, but the interface is different from router brand to router brand. Now, WMM maintains the priority of all audio, video and voice over other applications which are less time critical. WMM ensures that the applications that require a better through Put and performance are inserted in queues with higher priority. For example, video and audio applications are given higher priority. Enabling this did the job for the iDevices on my network. They are never automatically disconnected anymore. Another thing that might help a lot is if you navigate to another tab in your router settings and then change the standard channel from auto to a specific number since this might decrease the interference level with other devices using the same auto setting. You don't have to do this, but it might help with your connection. This is it though. Now your portable devices, whether it being an Android or an iDevice, should be able to hold the Wi-Fi connection for as long as you want. If you liked the video and if it helped you, then remember to give it a like and share it with people you know are having the same issues. With that said, thank you for watching.